Whoa. I say, whoa, what's good with y'all boys, man? I'm back with another K reaction, baby. What's good, family? How y'all feeling out there today, man? I got my brother back here on the channel, man. What's up, yo? Yes, you got me back. What you about to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, listen, man. We, this is a high requested video. Y'all all been sad, man. Have your brother react to Larry Bird trash talking. They want to see him get gritty. They want to see how he, how he was. You feel me? When you actually playing against him, why are you actually in front of him, bro? Now, one question for you, bro. I got one question. Do you think trash talking is a lost art in today's game? In the extent of how it was back in the day, yes, because everybody buddy-buddy now. That's a fact. Everybody friends now. They wasn't friends back then. They was coming for your neck back then. They was coming for your heart. Trash talking a lot of times brings the best out of somebody. Because you got to think about all the greats that did it. Michael Jordan. Was so one question though. Do you think Larry Bird was like that? Oh yeah. You think Larry Bird tell you what he wanted? He probably was the best in the game at it, bro. Like, oh man. Look. We ain't even gonna hold y'all too long, bro. Y'all already know we can get into it for days. Right. You feel me? Let's get straight to this video. I'm kind of excited for my brother to see this because he know about Larry Bird, but I don't think he actually know about Larry Bird, if you understand. So if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's get straight into it. In the last, the last play, he says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go right over there in that corner. <laughs> He said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ. the late, great DJ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take the ball out. The man curl right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, and game made over. It. It's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Go to shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm gonna go shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. Mm. He wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. <laughs> <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in this league, home. Hold on, George. Hold on, George. You hear my man. Yeah, 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 that's like, how you do it, baby. <laughs> that's that yeah. real competitiveness back in the day, oh, bro. You feel me? Larry ain't played with you, bro. Yeah, he see that's you that trying competitive to edge. Man. I love it. He trying to kill you, bro. They like that today's game anymore. <laughs> it's gone. He, he trying to kill you. They bro. riding banana boats now. <laughs> now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, did this some bitch this cold <laughs> 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 and, and, and he and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the break net pitch, and I jump up and I throw it down on him back. Ooh, I mean, he yes, me. sir. And he said, Hey Rook, I like you. You got heart. <laughs> I said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's who he was. But that was the only time he ever talk trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. Right. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, mm -hmm. you got embarrassed. I, I, mm -hmm. I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. <laughs> and I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you I, put I, on him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. Right. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He never told Robert Reedy the other state that he should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50 points. And you mm. know, Larry Burr ain't never playing no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. I'm not wearing about guard. He said, man, shoot it in the face. <laughs> Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry, on Larry Bird and, uh, and, said, and said, said, take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three three three-pointers in a row <laughs> and just basically basically said to him, and we all heard it, that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. <laughs> the ball went to Larry, and Isaiah was all out of, out of whack. 
he had the ball at three point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? <laughs> Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate right. you enough to get you out of your game. Right. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He was <laughs> confident. You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. <laughs> he proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. Yeah. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out of Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump, and as I go by, <laughs> I go by him, he tells me, he says, fly, bird. <laughs> and I go right by him, and he shoots the ball, it's nothing but nylon. Mm. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. There was a certain confidence you had, because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way, right. and he'd deliver. That's what he Oh, off balance, everything. One, one foot. You remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird night. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a tough night, man. Best, best. You know, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. You know? But did you, you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying. You know, <laughs> you know, but when when a guy is literally coming up the court, calling his shots. Mm. Uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're oh. on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, um, left side <laughs> over uh, across the three. And you're listening to him. That's, that's a tough feeling. But, okay, so you guys got Ooh. Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For and, and Andy Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. This one the bench. This one they celebrated yeah, on the bench, bro. It was the bro. greatest film session yeah. ever. Because that, back then, you didn't have, you know, you Woo! watched the real game. And just went, you know, with a video. And Mike rewound mm. the celebration that boy got 20 shot, times. Boy. He just kept, re not the shot, he just kept rewinding it. Showing the guys, you remember they're giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was Eddie Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. Uh, mm. And Antoine Carr and Cliff. <laughs> Yo, and the Hawks, bitch, bro. The that. Hawks. So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> and it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird oh, went best. by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. And, uh, <laughs> no way. Yeah, and so um, it was a bad night. When Larry got on the roll, so I shoot the ball. He said, Every shot was going in. Mm. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too close. <laughs> when he went by the bench, he goes, that's a heat too check. Close. You can see how hot I am. All right, it runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? He goes, well, nobody out here can. Frank looked down the bench and goes, No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he would look at you like, Hey, what you doing out here? You gonna call somebody else? I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, Hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to guard me because I'm killing this guy. <laughs> in last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. Yeah, I love it. Bird giving it back to him. Chuck Person can talk some trash to Larry Bird now. He's okay. the last 16 points. Yeah. Chuck and Larry down low, greeting one of yeah. the points again. Let's oh. go, Larry. Sir. Oh, oh. look at him, hey, yeah, look at him, yeah. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Person didn't dare look at him. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while. And get that ad out run of ends. My guy, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word is made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form, and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. Hi, game. They call the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. <laughs> I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. 
And then the time out, I'm going for a play, and I said, all right, this is what we're going to run. All right, uh, then as you get the ball, you go over here and uh, you, you know, pass to Kevin, then you go to the corner, and why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? Now, after the time out, he goes and walks back on the court, and Larry's going down to his position, so he tells the baby, he says, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Oh, two people, yeah. Two people. Two people. And you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. <laughs> I fall back to the left side line, like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs. Uh oh. And I was complaining to the refs. And the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how I summarize it. The 84 Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. <laughs> as if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. <laughs> Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. He's got a pool hamstring. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing. But I, he said, I'm going to tell you what, since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. <laughs> so you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. Hold <laughs> 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 on, what? <laughs> hey, hey man, I'm telling you, trash talk bring the best out of the best competitors. You bro, know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest, be honest when I say this, bro. I'm going to be honest when I say this. Um, New generation, there's no players that I say ever do that. Nah. I never say no player do that, bro. Tell you exactly what they about to do and they then do it. Execute, baby. Bro, it's crazy. The confidence back in the day had to be on a million. And it's crazy because... Me evaluating and listening to the people on the video, uh -huh. bro, you had to be like that or you can't survive in the mm -hmm. league, bro. Like, you had to mentally. Ooh. You had to because if you wasn't, they will kill you in the league, bro. So I'm just saying, though, bro. I love this. What's I your perspective it. on after watching, you know, most of this video so far? What's your perspective on Larry Bird mindset? I know you knew he was a killer. Right. But... How, like, you feel me? He's a, how do you feel now about him? Um, how do I feel now about him? I just got a, 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 a deeper respect for him. Because when you can sit up there and be so self-confident, because that's where it starts first. It starts within yourself first. Right. It starts within yourself. I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Right. And I know you can't stop me. And then do it and look back at you and be like, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I love just, it. Just how just just mm. think about how much that take from you, bro. You mm -hmm. tell me to my face, yo, <laughs> I'ma hit this three in your face. Yeah. And then you hit it, I gotta go home that night. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep. And face <laughs> everybody <laughs> that's seen that on TV. Bro, I gotta sleep. I cannot believe this dude just But you know me. what else it did? What? It made people work harder. On oh, everything. And it did something to you, bro. The back in the day era, bro, brought the best out of people. Yes, it did. Today's era, what I seen, and me just, you know, mm. I'm a, I, I was born into it. I'm a, actually a new generation type of guy. Right. It just the, all the friends, yeah. They all hang out everybody with just together. cool. And it's cool to hang out with your, your teammate after, bro. But yo. I'm sorry. Hold up. That's why I respect Giannis so much. Right. Because Giannis, for one, he didn't join a super team. Right. He stayed on his team. Right. And earned it, got it out the mud the hard way. Right. And when dudes was calling him up to hang out with stuff, no, nah, bro, I'm not hanging out with you, bro. No, I'm, I'm, I'm working right now. Most of the teams, Steph Curry ain't joined no super. 
but he had a super tag. Yes, he did. But most, what basically what I'm saying is, bro, today's league, bro, for somebody mm-hmm. to actually get a championship, what y'all all know, bro, you people get super teams and all that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? People got to do this. Back in the day, bro, who I started with is who I'm ending with. And yeah, it's these amazing, my brothers bro. right here. Yeah, these it's my amazing. brothers bro. right here. It's amazing. Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot and I'm going <laughs> to kick it in." He told Washington, "I'm going to get the ball." <laughs> Two seconds left. Two the seconds. Looks by one. Aims the bird, he gets a good shot. Ooh. Come on, man. Boy, Come on. Incredible. And Bird wins it at the buzzer. Oh, that's the uh, ending of it. Hold on. All right, that's the ending of it for real. But one thing I'm going to say, bro. I would have hated playing against Larry Bird back in the day, yo. Yeah. <laughs> like, I heard Larry Bird stopped a lot of stuff for a lot of people, bro. Yes, he did. <laughs> Dude who could just snatch his soul out your chest and just walk <laughs> off with it and be like, I give it back when I feel like it. <laughs> but yeah, bro, man. I I absolutely love this video, bro. Larry Bird trash talk. Like I told you, I love learning more about the old era. I love bringing my brother on here because he, he from that era, bro. Like, you feel me? He, <laughs> he know about it, so... Feel me? Anything else you guys say, Shorty? Have me on some more of these videos. <laughs> I feel like we on one right now. We got one. We got one smoking in the chamber right now. Okay, so. okay. If y'all yeah. new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. I'm out, baby. One.